Welcome back. And we're talking the NLNG Prize for Literature. The prize for stand and the Nigeria Prize for Literature is sponsored by the NLNG, Nigeria NLNG Limited. The li prizes are li aimed at encouraging Nigerians, scientists, and authors to public attention and to publicly do some work and to celebrate excellence in scientific breakthroughs and literary accomplishments in the nation. Anna Lange believes that the Science Prize will provide leaders with answers to crucial issues in development, improve the standard of living, and re-energize the scientific community to seek solutions to national problems. With the Nigeria Prize for Literature, it's expected that the quest for a prestigious prize will improve the quality of writing, editing, proofreading, and publishing in the country. Okay. Good point. Yeah, okay, so the writing, editing. <laughs> the writing, editing, and proofreading, proof yes. <laughs> okay, what about the story ideas? We're coming to that. So to help us look at all of this, we have the Corporate Communications Manager of Nigeria LNG Limited, Mr. Antonio Konedo. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Beside him is Ikogu. Okay. 2017 winner, Nigeria Prize for Literature. Thank you for having Welcome. me too. Should I call you Kenga? Ikog is enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Professor Ben Elube is a member of the advisory board. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. You know why I said, should I call you Kenga? Your, your oh, dressing, I know. Well, well, you may. Okay. You um, Tony, mm -hmm. tell us about more about the price for science and the price for literature? Well, these were two initiatives endowed by Nigeria LNG. And um, recall that um, they are not the uh, Nigeria LNG prizes, they're the Nigeria prizes for science and the Nigeria prize for literature. And why have we done that? Because Nigeria is deeply wired into our DNA as a company. Um, you will find other competitors, you know, other people who are, you know, behind such initiatives, naming them after the corporate or perhaps products or services. But we have specifically and definitely, or you know, in a fine manner, called this the Nigeria Prize for Science and the Nigeria Prize for Literature. Mm. Um, basically, as you've talked about the objectives behind, you know, both initiatives. Um, what you did not mention is that there are Africa's leading awards in, the, in those areas. And we're very something that we do with a great deal of pride at Nigeria LNG, um, and um, we continue to look for you know um, opportunities for partnership. As it is, our entire CSR you know um, global CSR approach is taken on built on you know on, on on sustainability stakeholding and partnerships, and that along with our core values as a company, which is you know integrity, teamwork, respect, care for persons, and and all of that, sort of you know wrap a you know defined you know um you know circle around everything that we do i'm happy happy to be here today with professor Elubia and Ikeogo yeah. to talk okay. a bit more about the nigeria prize for literature okay. okay before we go to the winner prof you are a member of the advisory board do you think it's this prize for literature has been on course Thank you very much. There was a time when you would have said that question was necessary. But in the last few years, after the advisory board came in and brought in some initiatives, I think it's true that uh, it's going forward. Mm -hmm. It certainly has, is every year as the prize has been delivered with a lot of uh, a lot of pride, a lot of integrity, a lot of excellence, the stock of the prize has risen abroad. Hmm. Mm. But I I, I would uh, surmise that uh, in the back of their minds somewhere, NLNG also has the intention of getting Niger Nigerians probably to read more. Absolutely. Because they say we don't read. They say if you want to, if you want a black man not to know something, put it in a book. So is that also being achieved? Yes, it is. Um, for example, there was a year when the panel of judges said that there was no book deserving of the award. 
So that year there was no price given? Yes. And the NLNG said, we won't take this money back. Let's organize a workshop for writers. For writers. And a book came out of it, Indeed. which is available <laughs> at the NLNG. Then another year, when we were on to children's literature, the panel also said no. And, but by then we had appointed an external consultant. Mm -hmm. So what we did was to say, let this external consultant come and run a workshop to encourage our people in the area of children's literature. Okay. Now to the winner, Ikago. First of all, congratulations on winning the prize for 2017. And um, how do you feel being the winner? Obviously delighted. I, I, I mean, it's something that, um, that um, I feel gratified about, obviously. Uh, I worked hard, I feel fortunate. You know, when you uh, put in that particular book of poems, which we have with us um, in, in front of you, yes. um, did you believe that you could win? Yes, I did. But I also look at this lack of money. I also uh, <laughs> left room for losing. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you know, like I said in my acceptance speech, uh, whatever we get in the world, we should feel grateful for it, because hard work doesn't always lead to success. So if you work hard and you achieve success, well, uh, it used to be humble because it could have been otherwise. And so, well, uh, I, if I didn't think I'd win, I shouldn't send that entry. You know, but but I you knew, thought you'd win and yet still left room for failure. I left room for failure. <laughs> yes. Of the saying that if you're going to the war front and counting how many slaves war prisoners you would bring home, consider the possibility that you, you might yourself. end up yes. being <laughs> a war prisoner. That's, that's a very strange way to put it. You know, mm. so. Now, uh, do you think that this prize is actually achieving its aim, you know, of um, getting out better, you know, pieces of work from Nigerians? Yes, I think so. You know, it's not my first one for the prize. I actually started at almost at the inception. Oh, you have failed a number of times. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. So many times. And I have uh, followed the trend. He didn't win. Yeah. He didn't fail. Yeah. Okay, he didn't fail. Okay. Yeah. He didn't win. He didn't win. <laughs> right. Okay. So now I, I follow the trend and uh, I realize that there tends to be improvements in the quality of uh, works in that for the prank. But there are those that win. The reason is that. Uh, some works are disqualified because of the quality of the production. And then people realize this, and each time they enter, they try to put in their best. Of course, if you have to take you know, care of the cost of producing your own book, uh, your way with that could be um, a factor. Mm -hmm. But I think people try to do their best, you know, it, it, in what is supposed to define themselves. And that's that's a good thing, you know. I mean, if I tell the story of how this book was produced, the things I had to do, you know, when you know, I saw things that seemed to be like uh, errors that could jeopardize my chances, I said, no, this is not gonna go. Okay. We need to print in the book. Mm -hmm. That sort of spirit, I think, is being replicated in other, you know, uh, who aspire to win the prize is a good thing. So we, we have a decision where the, the sense of the need to uh, you know to identify with excellence in producing books that go for this prize, mm -hmm. you know, has tended to increase over time. I'm sure that if you looked at the entries you know that we are sent in when the prize was launched. And the entries are going now. You see a gradient of improvement okay. in physical quality of the book, the design, okay. the aesthetics, the the, 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 the the content, even signs that you know 